The Boffman and the Shattuck and Catrone texts were extremely helpful, especially this week's reading on a number of logistics concepts on how to handle auditions, casting, and rehearsal schedules. My name is Merritt Laney Johnson, and I am a middle school performing arts teacher. The chapter on the prompt book was especially helpful to me because uh, for someone like me, uh, who can be very mentally scattered, it is very hard sometimes as a director and teacher to keep all of the responsibilities where, it, where I can just keep it as a checklist. Um, I normally have an assistant who is running the prompt book. They're my logistics person, uh, but for this particular show and for many that I teach here, uh, I am that person. So this chapter was particularly helpful. Something that really stuck out to me with the prompt book was not only logging what happened in each of the rehearsals, but of course setting the goals. Now goal setting I'm very, very familiar with. Um, as a teacher, I do that frequently, but actively writing it in the prompt book so that we stay on task has very much helped us as we've been nearing our tech week for Midsummer Night's Dream. Another element that stuck out to me was the use of tabs. It's, this is a step that's very, very easy for me to skip because there's so many other things going on and I'm like, oh, well, this paperwork. It's like, no, but the paperwork is in fact the most important and the more that, uh, that we do this, the, the more I'm seeing. Something that I really enjoyed about the Boffman and the Shattuck and Catrone book, they were both about how to run effective auditions. They both talked about efficiency, about the social aspect, giving everybody a fair try. The biggest difference was that Boffman was more about in a school setting with young people who are, might not be nearly as experienced, whereas the Shattuck and Catron talked a lot more about in a professional setting. And what I found the most interesting is people aren't really that different <laughs> whenever they're younger versus whenever they are older. They just have a little bit more experience under their belt. So being fair, um, of course, is the biggest thing that you want to do as a director. You want to make sure everybody has the same amount of time, which means that you have to schedule correctly because things happen. You need to be able to schedule those cushion times that the Shattuck and Catron talk about. Um, in the Boffman, because you are dealing with students in that, in that particular context, the idea of having a uh, audition workshop was extremely helpful and that's actually something that uh, whenever we cast Lightning Thief last year our music director actually hosted one of those where people could come in they could learn the music if they hadn't learned it already and from there you could already see who was putting in the time who was willing to show up to this before the actual audition. For adults though something that I really found interesting were the different types of audition experienced the general open auditions where people could actually watch the auditions or the by appointment closed auditions at Disney when I worked there. And it was really fun to see that, oh, okay, there are other ways to do this if you're doing a play or a musical outside of a school setting. For a Midsummer Night's Dream though, we have a whole week where I basically do teach them how to audition. These are seventh and eighth graders. So a lot of them have never done this before. So in the entire week before I have to teach them a stage basics, how to project their voice, how to analyze a script, which we go into bigger detail later. This I find to be very, very helpful because then they know exactly what to expect and the audition day is kind of like a test day, but it's also like a workshop. Um, we try to keep it pretty chill so that they're not completely freaked out. When it comes time to cast, uh, I do have normally at least one intern assistant helping me out when we get to that part of the show. And after I've told them kind of, hey, this character has very specific emotional, physical, and vocal needs, which I loved that the Catron and Shattuck actually address is that this is what you are looking for. And if you communicate this ahead of time to your performers, then they can better prepare. One element of casting that I also appreciated, and Bothman kind of touched on it, Catron and Shattuck went a little bit deeper into, was the idea of sensitivity regarding certain shows. For instance, if you were trying to do hairspray, you probably shouldn't do it if you don't have a lot of diversity in your school. Well, we did have an issue similar to that um, last year, whenever we did Lightning Thief, we had a person who auditioned who would have been an amazing Mr. D. Grover in the show, is shown to have um, to have crutches. And the student um, was really hoping to get that part specifically because of the representation that they felt when they first saw Percy Jackson. I, I wish we had prepared the student better. Hey, like your voice type is better for Mr. D and we don't want to exclude you from this production. And that was just something I wish we had prepared our students better with. This was something that I've honestly been workshopping for the past couple of years of 
knowing that we have eighth grade, seventh and eighth graders, and I get them in rotations, so it's six to seven weeks, how do you best utilize that time to teach them the most that you can without going too much and only giving them a cursory glance, having them have a very well-rounded understanding. And that all comes down to the scheduling because every minute counts. I enjoyed the outline that Shattuck and Catron actually laid out. So you have the whole like table read and you have the discussing the designs with everybody so that you can lay out your vision as a director. Overall, the Catron and Shattuck as well as the Boffman were extremely helpful this week in providing logistics so that I as a director and as a teacher can keep a better checklist of what all needs to be done before and during a production.